Okay, so what I'm about to tell you is going to be contrary to everything that you have learned, read, heard about sleep. If you have struggled with insomnia the way I have, where you have gone weeks on end, and yes, I get it, weeks on end without sleep, this is going to blow your mind, okay? It's going to be so polar opposite to what you've been told, what even other professionals, MDs, people who just don't know and don't understand how sleep works, what they've told you. It's been all wrong. So let's start there. So when I first went into the Stanford sleep treatment, this was one of the first things that just blew my mind that they shared with me because it was the opposite of what I had been told for decades. So if you are struggling to get to sleep, do not go to bed early. Don't go to bed early. That's wrong. And let me ask you a question on this note, because we're going to get into this. I'm going to do several videos on this, really, so you have a thorough, complete understanding of the framework and the treatment and what works and what doesn't. So do not go to bed early. And let me ask you a question. So if you're super exhausted, you've had insomnia for years, for decades, like I had. Does going to bed early, does that actually work? Has that worked for you? Because if you have the kind of insomnia that I'm talking about, where you struggle mightily to sleep, then going to bed early has not helped you get to sleep. What ends up happening for us? People who have insomnia, the kind I'm talking about here, severe insomnia, where you no longer know how to sleep. You have to learn how to sleep again. So what has happened for you when you've gone to bed early? You've probably been up all night tossing and turning. And people who sleep don't seem to understand this because they fall asleep naturally. Sleep is not a problem for them. If they lose a night of sleep, they feel exhausted the next night. They crash out, they go to bed early, and they fall asleep. And so they don't understand how you could be so exhausted, so tired, haven't slept in weeks or months, and still can't sleep because you don't know how to sleep. You've forgotten how to sleep, whether it was something traumatic, something whatever something that's happened to you. You just forgot how to sleep. So here's the first thing. What you need to do, do not go to bed early. You need to deprive yourself even more of sleep. So what that means is you need to stay up as late as you can before you even go into your room. So no matter how exhausted you are, you feel tired, you need to literally start falling asleep just right where you are. So if you're sitting somewhere, you got to push yourself. You have to stay up as late as you can. Because how the treatment works, how sleep works is we have to learn to sleep naturally again. We have to build up sleep drive. Okay, so let's talk about this. We have got to build up sleep drive. So according to Stanford, top-notch researchers who helped me with my insomnia, they want you to learn to sleep naturally. They don't want you taking sleeping pills. They don't want you trying to force yourself to sleep because sleep should not be forced. It should be a natural process, which means the body naturally builds up enough sleep drive for you to go to bed and fall asleep. So a couple of things. One, if you're in bed, we took sleep diaries and I recommend you do this. I'm going to leave some resources and I'll have some links to resources. There's the sleep timer. There's different things, the sleep diary app, 
where you can monitor and track your sleep. So what you want to do is stay up as late as humanly possible. So if you've been struggling with sleep, they want to shrink your sleep opportunity in bed. If you go to bed at 10 p.m. and you get out of bed at 7 a.m., that's nine hours. But according to your sleep diary, you only slept four or five of those hours. What does that tell us? That tells us that you were in bed for nine hours and you were tossing and turning for the other four to five hours. You have to go to bed and sleep. You cannot be in bed and toss and turn. One of the things they want you doing is getting up, actually getting out of bed. It's really difficult when you're exhausted. I get it. Trust me. But they want you to get out of bed. Once you start trying to sleep, your brain goes into a certain mode that will never allow you to fall asleep. You're trying. You're putting your brain in this certain state and you're not allowing the sleep to come naturally. Your brain is actively engaged in action, which we don't realize because we're exhausted and we're just in bed tossing and turning and you think, okay, I'm going to fall asleep any minute now. I'm going to fall asleep any minute now. I get this. I promise you. I've been through this for thousands of nights and what they taught me finally worked and I no longer toss and turn. So what you want to do is shrink your sleep opportunity and what you're doing night after night by doing this, by setting your bedtime later, you are shrinking the sleep opportunity. So what you're doing physiologically is you're building up sleep drive. You're built, and it doesn't matter if it's been 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Everyone's body works in the same way when it comes to sleep and sleep drive. You have to build up sleep drive so you can naturally fall asleep. And what happens for me now, in the beginning, it was very difficult because they actually asked me to stay awake until 2.30 in the morning. They wanted me to go to bed at 2.30 a.m., which I just thought was preposterous, and um, I couldn't do it. But I did start staying up until 1.30 a.m. I go to bed a little earlier because as you learn to sleep, you can start stretching out your sleep opportunity. You grow that window and you start inevitably getting more and more sleep. But what happens for me now is I no longer toss and turn. I'm no longer for the first time in my life since I was a teenager, so decades, I no longer toss and turn. I fall asleep. And sure, it's not always perfect. There may be nights I don't, I wake up tired still, mornings I wake up tired, but I'm getting more sleep than I've ever gotten. And those days of me spending all night in bed tossing and turning are gone. That's just gone. 